We're going to start by measuring the line we need. You always want to have a little bit extra just in case you mess something up. Once it's cut, you cannot add any more, so keep that in mind. My crimping tool also has a cutter on it, which is actually really sharp, and it cuts this line really well. Remember that you have a, a crimp sleeve on each end, so that's going to take up some line too. What I typically do is just give it a nice bend after measuring it to the sleeve. You're going to give it a bend because you want to have a loop, so you want to be bent in front of that so you have enough space for your loop. And you just fold it in half, and you can just squeeze it between your fingers and get it nice and nice and tight. Now you're going to want to slide on your swivel. The reason we use two swivels is because your line can tangle, start getting wrapped up if you don't use two swivels, so I really recommend using two. Now we can slide our first crimp sleeve over and slide our tag for that loop into it. You want this to be fairly snug. It helps if you squeeze the main line and the tag line together, and then you can slide that sleeve over there no problem. You don't need a lot of loop on the end. You just want enough that your swivel can move freely. Now we'll give this a crimp and we'll move on. After it's crimped, we can start adding the beads. We'll start with one orange bead and then we'll go ahead and put on a prop. This is an optional prop. You don't have to have this one on there. I just got on there for fun. You want to have a bead before and after each prop you put on this because it'll help it spin a lot more freely. Now we can put on the big buzz bait blade. With this pound leader, the blades spin really nice. Now we go ahead and add the second bead on top of the buzz blade. And next, we're going to put on a, another crimp sleeve. So make sure you have your components in this order. Now we're going to go ahead and measure for our crimp. Again, we're just going to fold it over 90. And this is where you'll be able to trim your tag end off to make it perfect size. Just going to measure it up to the crimp sleeve there, and now we know we got to cut it right there. Take your pliers or cutters or whatever you're using and snip it off. Now we're going to feed on our second swivel, and we can push our tag end into our crimp sleeve. So once you've done that, you're good to go. Make sure you give it a little crimp there on the top. And that's basically done. Now we're going to add a clip to this back end, though. Back of the clip to the back of the swivel. Once you open it up, it should look like this. You should have both sides open. You're going to feed your back swivel over the back loop of this clip. And you're going to go ahead and close the back of the clip. And now this front one will be where we attach our baits. Go ahead and close it here. I prefer to fish this with a soft plastic creature bait, so I'll put on one of these VMC hooks. They're not sponsored, but I love their hooks, so, you know, sponsor me. Oftentimes, I'll put a swim bait on this, or sometimes I'll put a ribbit frog on there as well. The ribbit frog is basically already a buzz bait, but I do like to throw a big buzz bait blade on the front of these and just give it that extra action. Sometimes you get huge fish doing that. You can attach this to basically any bait, though. For example, we'll attach it to this walk the dog lure. If you like fishing buzz baits, but you don't like that you can't stop them, this is a good one. You can attach it to any floating bait and turn it into a buzz bait. Here's a little swim bait. Turn that into a buzz bait. Heck, why not? Let's turn a buzz bait into a buzz bait. If I get 200 likes on this video, I'll fish with the double buzz bait.